Hi, and welcome back to Beginning Ionic Hybrid Application Development. In our last section, we got into the basics of our app structure and added menu items to our app. This is the third section, Services and Ajax. In this section, we'll take a look at Angular Services, Ajax calls, calling a service from a controller, and adding infinite scroll and refresh elements. This is video 3.1, Creating an Angular Service. In this video, we will explain what an Angular service is and how to create one. In AngularJS, it is in considered, Angular a best JS, practice considered a best to practice implement to implement data access from a service, from a service rather than in a controller. Than a controller. So, so we'll, we'll first move our sample, our sample data into, into a service, service then, then replace it with a real Ajax call in the next, in the next video. video. Return, Return to, to the, the app.js app file and add a service named listing, named service, listing to service to the end of the, end of the, the file semicolon. before the final semicolon. Inside of the service, we turn an, we turn object, an object which holds which the holds service's, the API. service's API. The API, will consist the API consists of get one method, get listings, which will return an array, of business, return an array now, of business listings. We'll use the For now, we we'll use the same the mock data that we used in the controller. In, in the, the controller.js file, delete, delete the, the sample, sample data, add the, the listing service as a, as a resource, and make a call to the get listings method to get, get the listings. listings. If we, if we look, look at, at the browser, browser now, We'll see the same data listed we see as the before. Same data. Before, before we can, we can make, make a call to a third-party third web service, we will need, we'll to, need install to install a Chrome, a Chrome extension. extension. Allow, allow control, control, allow, allow origin. origin. Normally, Normally, from, from the, the browser, browser, we would not, not be able to access, access a web service, a web service outside, outside of our, of our app's domain. domain. Allow, allow control, allow origin, allow origin will, will allow us to do that. To do that. Go to https colon forward slash forward slash Chrome dot google.com Google forward slash web store. Web store. Below the search box the search on the left-hand left side, click on, click the, extension on the extension tab, tab, tab and in the and categories, categories drop-down, drop down, choose, choose developer developers tools. tools. Then, then in the, in the search, search box, box type, allow-control-allow-origin allow dash and press origin. enter it, it should be the first, the first entry in the list of applications, of applications found. found click the click blue, the blue add, to add to chrome button and accept the app's permission accept the app's permission once installed I've be already sure installed to activate it, so it by I can't clicking it here but once installed be sure installed, to activate by sure clicking it. it it will enable cross origin it. resource sharing it will enable the button cross should be colored green the button should be in the green next now. video We'll talk about making an Ajax call.